212, here at 212, 213, 214. Right, we're cracking eh? Let's do it. It's definitely getting hot. Get on my glove. Well, I can feel it here. This month, we're exploring eddy currents in a new and unique way. We'll show how magnets can be used to cook an oh, egg. Yeah. Okay, so here's the setup. Start with underneath. Underneath we have a treadmill motor, took it out of an old treadmill. And over here we have the controls for the treadmill. And then over here, we have the wooden disc with the magnets on top. Now these magnets are alternating poles, so it's north, south, north, south, north, south, all the way around because the change magnetic field is what is inducing eddy currents in the aluminum pan. So there's the aluminum pan lined with copper, um, just a sheet of plexi as a barrier, and that's all. I don't know if you can see this, but the magnets are very close to touching the plexiglass, but they're not actually touching. So the pan is not actually touching the magnets. There you go. This inductive stovetop uses eddy currents to heat up the pan. What are eddy currents? Basically, eddy currents are loops of electrical current induced in a conductor by a changing magnetic field due to Faraday's law of induction. This is why it's crucial that the magnets on our rotor are alternating polarities. By Lenz's law, an eddy current creates a magnetic field that opposes the change in the magnetic field that created it. So eddy currents basically react back on the source of the magnetic field and push against it. The eddy currents in the conductive metal act like a weak magnet in the opposite direction. We've all seen the experiment of dropping a magnet down a copper tube. The opposing force slows the magnet down, but doesn't stop it completely. The force is a function of the speed of the magnet, so a stationary magnet wouldn't create any eddy currents or forces at all. The current flowing through the resistance of the conductor dissipates energy as heat. In the example of the magnet being dropped down a copper tube, the copper tube dissipates the energy as heat, but because it's a short system, the tube doesn't really get that hot. Theoretically, if you kept dropping magnets down the tube one after another, you'd see a larger change in the temperature of the tube. This is what we take advantage of in our inductive stovetop. By spinning the magnets very quickly and keeping the aluminum pan in place, the heat dissipates into the pan and keeps increasing in temperature as we keep spinning the motor. With the right magnetic field, pan size, and aluminum thickness, we can get the pan hot enough to fry an egg. Minus 900 plus a minus 960 plus a thousand, etc. So 70 degrees. In our first test, the pan rose in temperature pretty quickly, but it soon hit a plateau. The pan only got to be around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This is because the pan was too large and too thin. But we still wanted to try cooking an egg. See how the dollar store non-slip pan works? Very good. Oh, it's, no, it's a big pile of goo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's so bad. I can't break the 
we switched to a smaller and thicker aluminum pan, which definitely helped. This pan reached almost 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Still not quite enough. Our final change was to increase the magnetic field by doubling up the magnets. A stronger field and the thicker pan should get us to our goal. 1600. We didn't, we didn't quite double it, no. but that's a lot more. We were below a thousand. Eh, I mean, it's at least 50% more. Power. Down to 73. Alright. 84. Hard to hold it in place. Oh, oh. Here, here, yeah. Let's go with the glove there and I'll do a two hand. Yeah, I might do that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's already getting hot. 106. Wow, that's 108. 30 degree <laughs> jump. In just a couple seconds. 111. Yeah, that is. Good. Yeah, no, that worked. We could have gone a little longer, but that that's pretty good. I cooked. Yeah, the that's wine? actually pretty cooked. Yeah, the white looks pretty good. Yeah, I would eat that. I mean, we didn't wash anything, but I would eat it. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> sweet. Over easy. Perfect breakfast. Magnets make the perfect breakfast. <laughs>